Dr. Panda, hello. Dr. Panda, Toto. Please tell us what will you be doing today. Dr. Panda, let's go. Dr. Panda, uh oh. No task too big, come bring your friends and let's play. Fighting fires, fixing tires, you always save the day. Out of groceries, hey, no worries. Dr. Panda's on his way. Dr. Panda, Dr. Panda, hello. Come on, let's go and have some fun today. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm a weather reporter. We work out what the weather is going to be like, and then we tell everyone about it. Hey, where's Toto? Toto is spending the afternoon at the farm with Moo. Oh, okay. It's time to go on TV, Dr. Panda. Are you ready? Yep, all set. In three, two... <laughs> Everybody, welcome to today's weather report. Today it'll be very warm. Ah, I guess I won't need to wear a jacket for my workout later. It will also be very calm with no wind at all. <laughs> Perfect weather for skateboarding. And finally, our weather equipment tells us there will be no rain. Great! That means I can work on my roof today. And that's the weather report for today. See you tonight for tomorrow's weather. <gasps> you did great, Dr. Panda. Well, with our special weather equipment, how could we go wrong? Uh-oh. <gasps> What's wrong? Uh, something's up with our special weather equipment. Come on. Uh -oh. Check the thermometer first. It tells us how warm or cold it is. Oh, Mimi, look at this. Oh, how cute. Oh, the mommy bird must have thought this was a good place to keep her eggs warm. Oh, but the nest is also keeping the thermometer warm. Looks like it's a lot colder than we thought. <laughs> I thought Dr. Panda said it would be warm today. I'm freezing. <sighs> Something else is wrong. The wind meter isn't moving. Someone's kite has blown up here and got tangled up with it. Looks like it's quite windy today after all. <gasps> Dr. Panda was wrong! <gasps> Like this should be moving around, searching the sky for rain clouds. I think it needs some oil. Um, Dr. Panda, didn't you say there wasn't gonna be any rain today? That's right. Today, there will be no rain. Quick, get back inside. Finish my building work, so I need to know what the weather is going to be. No worries. Let me check. What? Ah! Oh, my laptop is broken. Mm. Rain and laptops don't mix. I need the laptop to tell me what our equipment is saying about the weather. Oh, I'm afraid I don't know what the weather is going to be, Hoopa. I guess. I'll just have to guess, I guess. 
I'm sorry, Hoopa. Oh. Dr. Panda! Dr. Panda! Hi, Toto! Hey, Moo! How did you know it was going to rain today? Our weather report said it was going to be dry. Well, Dr. Pander, I'm a farmer. I always know what the weather's going to be. You do? Well, what equipment do you use? A thermometer? A satellite dish? <gasps> weather balloons? <laughs> Don't be silly. I can tell from what I see around me on the farm, like the colour of the sky or how the chickens behave. Chickens know what the weather is going to be? Oh, you'd be surprised. <gasps> Moo, I think you'd make an excellent TV weather reporter. <gasps> I'll get the camera. In three, two, one. Good evening and welcome to the weather report. We are sorry to have gotten the weather wrong today, but we have a special reporter with a better way of telling the weather. Over to you, Moo. Hmm? Uh, hello. <laughs> Let me see now. Uh, well, there was no fog this morning, and the bees have been out all day, so tomorrow it will be partly cloudy with a slight breeze. And the sky's red, so that means there'll be no rain tomorrow. Great! That's the perfect weather to finish my building work. But the chickens are huddling together to keep warm, so it will also be a bit chilly tomorrow. Don't forget to wear a jumper. I won't. Thank you, Moo, for your excellent weather reporting. It was my pleasure, Dr. Pander. I liked being on TV. Hey, maybe we could do a cooking program together. <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Dr. Panda, hello. Dr. Panda, Toto. please tell us what will you be doing today. <laughs> Dr. Panda, let's go. Dr. Panda, uh oh. No task too big, come bring your friends and let's play. <laughs> Fighting fires, fixing tires, you always save the day. Out of groceries, hey, no worries. Dr. Panda's on his way. Dr. Panda, Dr. Panda, hello. Come on, let's go and have some fun. Hi, Dr. Panda. Panda. What, what are, are you going, going to do today? Hi, everyone. Look, I'm in a hospital. Can you guess what job I'm doing today? You're a doctor. <laughs> That's right. And I've got a special patient to attend to. Uh, hey, Doc, can you take this thing off my leg already? I'm afraid not, Bip. This cast helps to fix your broken leg. Say, ah, uh, ah, uh, but... I can hardly move with this thing on. <laughs> well, that's the idea. Ah, your temperature is fine. You need to stay in bed and move your leg as little as possible. Huh, for how much longer? A few more days. Wait, what? Days? Calm down, Bip. Your leg needs to rest so it can get better. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's right. This came for you. Hey, a get well soon card. Hope you're feeling better soon, Bip. I hope Dr. Panda fixes your leg quickly. Get well soon, Bip, so I can beat you at basketball. Oh. Isn't it nice that everyone is thinking about you? I'll come and check on you later. Huh? Uh, Dr. Panda, wait. Uh, let's play checkers. Prepare to be beaten. Oh, I'm sorry, Bip. I can't. I've got lots to do. Why don't you rest a little, and I'll see you soon, okay? Oh. Hey, Bip. How are you doing?
thing. <laughs> Bip? Huh, Bip, where are you? Hmm. Toto, do you know where Bip's gone? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, we need to get him back into bed. Hmm. Maybe his friends know where he is. Hi, Dr. Panda. Hey, Hoopa. Have you seen... I'm glad you called, Dr. Panda. I get this funny feeling in my back when I twist around. I'll take a look at it later, but right now I need to find Bip. Oh, he's helping me clean the fire engine. You did a great job fixing his leg, Dr. Panda. Woohoo! Oh, there he is, behind you. There's <laughs> my back. Uh, Bip, stop! know where he might have gone? Uh, he was talking to May May just now. Ah, thanks, Hoopa. Oh, and take a nice warm bath. That should help make your back feel better. Thanks, Dr. Panda. What do you think? Yeah, it's, it's not bad. Not bad? I've been working on these moves all week. Well, it just needs some bip magic. How about a spin? <laughs> it's an ambulance. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, Dr. Panda. Mimi. Is Bip here? Oh, well, he was. I guess he just ran off. Ah, oh, any idea where he went? He said something about a game of basketball. Oh, let! Thanks! <laughs> Take you back to the hospital. Okay. Ah, everything sounds fine. If you keep resting, your leg will be as good as new. W wait, where are you going? Oh, I have to. Uh, hmm. I think I know why you keep trying to get away. Are you missing your friends, Bip? Uh, I hate being on my own. It's so boring. <laughs> hey, thanks, Toto. I have an idea. If you can't go to see your friends, maybe your friends can come to see you. <laughs> and then there was the time I rescued a cat from a tree, but then I got stuck and had to be rescued myself! <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny! Thanks for inviting everyone, Dr. Panda. No problem. We've worked out a timetable. I'll be here tomorrow to beat you at basketball. Basketball? Miniature basketball. <laughs> That's so cool. And I'll be here the day after to show you my new dance routine. I've decided to put in a spin. I taught her that. <laughs> we'll all take turns to visit you, Bip, to make sure your time here isn't too boring. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Panda. You guys are awesome. I'm feeling better already. Wait until I beat you at miniature basketball. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. Hi, Toto. Are you playing with your friends, too? Nina, Nina. <laughs> oh, you want to ride in an ambulance, too, do you? Yes. Well, that's an adventure for another day. 
See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Bye. Dr. Panda. Hello. Dr. Panda. Toto. Please tell us what will you be doing today. <laughs> Dr. Panda. Let's go. Dr. Panda. Uh-oh. Fantastic big, come bring your friends and let's play. <laughs> Fighting fires, fixing tires, you always save the day. Out of groceries, hey, no worries. Dr. Panda's on his way. Dr. Panda. Dr. Panda. Hello. Come on, let's go and have some fun too. Dr. Panda. Panda, what are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Actually, the day is almost over. I'm doing a job that can't be done in the daytime. I'm going to be an astronomer. What's an astronomer? <laughs> an astronomer studies the moon and the stars and the planets in space. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Toto. There are going to be some awesome shooting stars tonight. Wow! <laughs> are you ready to go? <laughs> oh, you have to stay awake, Toto. You don't want to miss the shooting stars. Stars! All right, let's go! Oh, hi, Leo. Hi, Dr. Panda. Hi, Toto. Look, the stars are already waiting for you. <gasps> wow! When can we see the shooting stars? Well, they're supposed to start in an hour. Aw, oh, that means we have to wait for a long time. Yes, but there's lots more to see. We can look for planets or see how many constellations we can find. What's a constellation? <laughs> That's the name for a group of stars. Let's see. Okay. Ah, here's Orion. It's in the shape of a hunter. You can find it by looking for the three stars in his belt. Amazing! You want to see two? There's Ursa Major. Oh, that means Great Bear. You can recognize it by the stars that are shaped like a saucepan. And that one there is <coughs> my constellation. You have your own group of stars? No, I mean, this constellation is called Leo. <laughs> oh, you look great up there, Leo. <laughs> How do we know which of the stars are going to shoot? Oh, shooting stars are not really stars. No, people just call them that because they look like stars shooting across the night sky. Then what are they? They're meteors, small pieces of space rock. Most of them are tiny, only the size of a pebble. Hmm. So how can we see them from all the way down here? Because when they hit the Earth's atmosphere, they burn up and glow like stars. And that's called a meteor shower. A meteor shower. Cool. But they only light up for a moment. So you have to keep your eyes... Your eyes... Open. Leo, wake up. Yeah. Well, what? Oh, uh, I wasn't asleep. No, but you nearly were, wasn't he, Toto? <laughs> I guess it's past your bedtime, huh? <laughs> Maybe the blanket and the hot chocolate have made us a little too comfortable. 
We don't want to miss the meteor shower. Let's do something to keep ourselves awake. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. I don't think I'm fit enough for this. C can we do something a little less energetic? How about singing a song to stay awake? Oh, yes! A good old outdoor sing-along. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. How, How I, I wonder, wonder what, what you, you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you... Oh, no. Maybe that wasn't such a good song to sing after all. Leo, wake up. Leo! 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 It's no good, Toto. He's fast asleep. If we can't think of something to wake him up, He's gonna miss the meteor shower. <gasps> A shower! That's it! Toto, where's the flask? <laughs> Sorry, Leo. Is it... Ah, what? What? Is it raining? No, I threw some water over you. <laughs> Why? Was I on fire? No. We couldn't wake you, and I didn't want you to miss the shooting stars. Oh, the meteor shower. I didn't miss it, did I? Toto, you take a look. Quick, it won't last long. <gasps> wow! This is amazing. I'm so glad we saw them. It's a long time to wait up for something that's over so fast, isn't it? Yeah, but that just makes it even more special. <laughs> Thank you for waking me. I would have hated to miss the show. Sorry I had to do it that way. Well, if we ever go camping, <laughs> I know who can be in charge of putting out the campfire. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Camping! I think that's an adventure for another day, Toto. Or another night. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda! Bye-bye! <laughs> to Music Mix with Dr. Panda, your favorite music from your favorite bear. <laughs> Are you on the radio? Yes! Or I will be as soon as my radio show starts. When that light is on, everyone in Panda City can hear me on their radio. All I have to do is speak into this microphone and play music. <laughs> <laughs> That's for playing old records, Toto. But all the music we need is on this computer, right here. <laughs> Good thing the red light wasn't on, Toto, or everyone in Panda City would have heard your noises. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. 
You're listening to Music Mix with Dr. Panda, your favorite music from your favorite bear. Hi, everybody. It's a beautiful day in Panda City. It sure is. It's time to send in your requests. So if there's any song you'd like to hear, let me know and I'll play it for you. Hmm. Oh, I know just the one. To start us off, here's a song called Cutie Panda Beat by Justin Brown Bear. Now, there's a football game on the radio right after my show, Toto, so we have to finish in time. But until then, we'll play some nice music. Ah, at last. A job that doesn't involve lots of running around, huh, Toto? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hi, Dr. Panda. I heard you on the radio, and I was wondering, can I request a song for someone, please? Great idea, Leo. What do you want me to play? You see, it's June's birthday today, and there's this song she loved when she was a little girl. It's called Fleece Oddity by a fella named David Bae. Okay. Are you sure you can find it? It's quite old. Even June doesn't have a copy anymore. Ah, uh, no worries. I have every song on my computer. Oh, <laughs> great. Thanks. I'm off to the store to buy June a present now. Bye, Dr. Panda. <laughs> Bye, Leo. Ah, lots of requests coming in, Toto. Let's play this one first. Here's a request from Moo and her chickens. This is Mad Bull with Get Clucky. Oh, no. The song Leo requested isn't on the computer. Uh, hey, yeah. Maybe it's on one of the old records in the storage room. Uh, uh, that was great. Thanks, Moo. Next up, a uh, uh, song for Hoopa. This is the Rolling Bricks with... Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was just in time, Toto. I have until the end of the song to find Leo's record. <laughs> the record we need must be in here somewhere. Yeah. Nope, not here either. Hey, maybe Ziggy can help. Yeah, hello. Ziggy, uh, do you still have those boxes of old records in your garage? I think so. Great! I'll come over right after I put on a new song. You gotta build it up. <laughs> uh, this next song is for Bip. It's Sam Simeon with Monkey on My Mind. Awesome! Uh, I have to be back before the song ends. Hey, if I listen to my show on my phone, I'll know exactly when the song's about to end. Oh! Hi, Leo. I'm sorry, I, I haven't played your request yet. <sighs> I'm having a hard time finding a present for June. Mm -hmm. I'd love to help, Her but... Her taste is very particular, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, Leo. I gotta go. <sighs> Hi, Ziggy. Are these the boxes? Yep, these are all the records I've got. Is this the one? Oh, yes, that's it. Oh, thank you, Ziggy. Great. I think we can make a deal. How about I play a request for you? Can you play me something by Piggy Pug? Sure, anything you like. <laughs> Whoa, deal. <sighs> this next song is for Ziggy. Thanks for your help, buddy. Ah. <sighs> Found it, Toto. Tick tock. Oh no, my 
show is almost over. There's not enough time to play Leo's song for June. What do I do now? Hmm. Hey. That's all the songs I have time to play today, folks. But I have one last message for June. Oh. Come meet Leo and me in the park for a special birthday surprise. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everyone. Dr. Panda, I haven't found a present for June yet. I have nothing to give her. Ah, but you do. Huh? <laughs> hey, that's a great idea. Hi, you two. What's this all about, then? <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, I love this song. Thank you, Leo. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> run, run. <laughs> I think I've done enough running for today, Toto. So... That's an adventure for another day. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Dr. Panda, what are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, my job is to make a sculpture out of ice. Wow. wow. Oh, cool. Yep. Moo wants an ice sculpture for the opening of her ice pop cart. Hey, Toto, good thinking. You can make sandcastles in the sand pit while I'm making the ice sculpture. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Hi, Moo. Hi, Dr. Panda. Are you ready to get to work? I've put the ice in the shade so it doesn't melt. There you go. Do you know what you're going to make yet? Yep, but it's a surprise. Oh, <laughs> oh OK. Well, I'd better go and make those ice pops. They won't make themselves. And make sure you keep the ice in the shade or it will melt and that will be a disaster. No problem. By the time you get back, I'll be finished. Toto, that looks great. I've just finished my ice sculpture. Want to see what I've made? Uh huh. <gasps> wow! Chicken! That's right. It's a chicken. Do you like it? <laughs> wow! What happened? Oh, hi, Hoopa. What if most chickens has turned to ice? No, no. I made it out of a block of ice. Oh, wow! An ice chicken! How smart! Oh, what a great choice for your ice sculpture, Dr. Panda! It's wonderful! It looks just like them! Glad you like it, Moo. But now I need you to help me with something else. I've got lots of flavours, and I need your help pouring them into the moulds. Then I can freeze them in my cart. 
No worries, Moo. Great! There's no time to lose before the opening. Hoopa, can you make sure the ice sculpture stays in the shade to keep it from melting? Sure! Leave it to me, Dr. Panda. Thanks. Just follow the shadow. The last one. Do you think we've made enough? <laughs> we've made plenty. And there's even jelly left over. Oh, what are we going to do with it all? Let's go and get the ice sculpture. Then we'll figure it out. Hi, Hoopa. We've come to get the sculpture. But where is it? It's melted. You left it in the sun. But that's impossible. I stayed in the shade the whole time. Uh, you're in the shade, Hoopa. But the trolley is in the sun. Oh, no. Mo, this is a disaster. What are we going to do, Dr. Pander? No worries, Moo. We'll come up with something. But what? I don't have an ice sculpture for the opening of my ice pop cart anymore. All I have is my leftover jelly. I'm sorry, Moo. I wish I could do something. We can do something, Hoopa. I have an idea. You do? Yep. You can still have a sculpture, Moo, but this time it'll be made out of jelly instead of ice. A jelly chicken? Exactly. That sounds great. Even better than an ice chicken. Huh? Chickens. Whoa, that is one cool chicken. Yep, and Moo's ice pops are even cooler. Want to try one? Yeah, one of each flavor, please. <laughs> oh, that is so yummy. Thanks for making the opening of my ice pop cart such a success, everyone. I couldn't have done it without you. No worries, Moo. We had a lot of fun. Oh, what's up, Toto? <laughs> ice skate! <laughs> oh, I see. You want to go ice skating. Well, that's an adventure for another day. For now, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye, everyone. See you next time. <laughs> Dr. Panda, what are you going to do today? Hi, everyone.
everyone. Today, I'm going to be the referee for Panda City Sports Day. <coughs> uh, Dr. Panda, according to the schedule, we should have already started. Oh, you're right, Richie. We'll start with the hurdle race. The first one to jump all the hurdles and cross the finish line wins. <laughs> Ready, set, go! <laughs> Approximately three feet high by two feet wide. So, with a steady run. Keep going, Richie! And jump! Ow! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> Yay! That was a fun race! <laughs> Well done, Bip. <gasps> That's not fair. Bip cheated. Mm, yeah, I I don't see how Bip broke any rules. He didn't jump the hurdles one at a time. But he did still jump them. Only it was all at once. Well, I thought it'd be more fun that way. Dr. Panda, you're the referee. Tell him that's not the way it's supposed to be done. Maybe nobody's ever done it like Bit before, but he did still jump over all the hurdles and cross the finish line first. He won fair and square. <laughs> Next, the pole vault. The person who jumps the highest over the bar wins. I'm ready, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great vault, Maymay. Thank you. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. I've never felt so high, so free, so <clears throat> below the bar. Nice try, Richie. Bip, you're up next. Not yet. Raise the bar higher, please. Uh, are you sure? I like a challenge. <laughs> Ta da! Amazing! <gasps> but surely that's cheating? Nope. Everyone has their own special skills. But that's not fair. Oh, you're up next, Alette. Can you go higher than Bip? <sighs> oh, unlucky, Alette. Hey, good try, Alette. What's next, Dr. P? Darts! Whoever gets their dart closest to the middle from behind the starting line wins. Dry. Don't tell me he used his special skills. The last game is basketball. Bip and Mamie, you're a team. Oled and Richie, you're a team. The team that throws the ball through the hoop the most times before the clock buzzes wins. Hmm. Hey, Lad, your shoelace is untied. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> One point for Bip and Maymay. Right, that's it. What's the matter, Olet? Bip's not playing fairly. <sighs> well... Oh, let me guess. He's just using his special skills? Yeah. But he's winning at everything. Maybe you could use your own special skills. What special skills? I don't know. Uh, what can you do that's special? Uh, 
Oh, you want to give it another try? to buzz. Looks like it's a draw. Oh, yeah? Congratulations, Bep. Yes, well played. <gasps> everyone, everyone, group photo. Yeah. Ah, that was fun, wasn't it, Toto? <gasps> You're right. It's our turn to play now. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Dr. Panda. what I am? A chef. chef. Yes, but not just any chef. Pizza. Pizza. That's right, Toto. Our pizzas are always tasty and always on time. Yay! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Here are the vegetables for our pizza toppings. Where's Bip? He said he'd help. I'm sure he's on his way. Why don't you prepare the first pizza base, Olette? I'll start on the tomato sauce. Good idea, Dr. Panda. Hi, Dr. Panda. I'd like to order a mushroom special pizza, please. <laughs> we'll get right on it. Where'd you want it delivered? No, oh, I'm close, so I'll come by to pick it up. Okay, see you soon. <sighs> Alad, our first order's in. A mushroom special for Hoopa. Oh, this is hard. Does it look round enough, Dr. Panda? Oh. Yep, looks round enough to me. Oh, I'll work on this side a little more. Hey, hey, what do you say? Who's ready to make a pizza today? Bip, you're late. Am I? So sorry. So, Dr. P, what do you want me to do? Well, um, Olette's working on the base. I'm making the tomato sauce. Maybe you could prepare the vegetables. On it, Dr. P. <laughs> Done! Looking good, Olette. Step aside. Perfecto. Really, Bip, you need to take this more seriously. What's wrong with a bit of fun? Hi, Ziggy. Hello, Dr. Panda. 
I'd like to order two pizzas, please. The veggie feast and the mushroom special. One veggie feast and one mushroom special coming right up. You know our motto. Our pizzas are always tasty and always on time. Ooh, what if the pizzas are late? Do I get them for free? Oh, they won't be late. <laughs> then we have a deal. See you soon, Dr. Panda. And don't be late. <laughs> Two pizzas for Ziggy. And they have to be delivered on time. Then we'll have to move fast. That's what I'm good at. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm here for my pizza. Perfect timing, Hoopa. Let me slice it up for you. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, that was delicious. Pizza perfection! Thanks for a great pizza. See you next time. Bye, Bye Hoopa. Okay, let's get Ziggy's pizzas ready for the oven. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Ziggy's pizzas. Uh. Oh, hi, Richie. Hello, Dr. Panda. I'd like a pizza, please. One with olives. Not green olives. I don't like them. Black olives. Precisely five of them. And some peppers. Green, not red, but they can't touch the olives. Also, I want four slices of tomato, but cut in half to go on top of the green peppers. Got it. Another pizza? Oh, but I haven't even finished Ziggy's pizzas yet. Hey, not a pizza problem. Why make two when you can make three? Okay, uh... You take this pizza base, it's the most round, and start on Richie's pizza. I'll make a new pizza base for Ziggy's order. Black olives, not green. Okay. Oh, no, no. Uh, Richie wants exactly five olives, remember? Yeah. <sighs> not quite round yet. <sighs> More slices of tomato. Cut in half, remember, and on top of the peppers. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Finally done. Now all we have to do is wait. Yeah. <gasps> Dr. Panda! What's that smell? <gasps> Look! The oven was on too high! And now the pizzas are burnt! Aww. No worries. We'll quickly do them again. Uh, I have to make Richie's pizza again? Oh, boring. We'll never make it on time. It takes me ages to get the pizza bases perfectly round. Uh. Hey, what if you two switch roles? Bip, you could use your juggling skills for the pizza base. And, Alette, you're very precise. You could put the vegetables on the pizza exactly as Richie wants. If everybody does what they're good at, we'll be a lot quicker and have more fun at the same time. That is a great, great idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going. Somebody order a pizza? <gasps> but this pizza is all wrong. Oh, hang on. <sighs> <laughs> That's my pizza. Enjoy. We gotta go. Thanks. Bye. Hurry. Five, four, three, two, one. Too late. I get the pizzas for free. Huh? Nah, just kidding. You were right on time. Would you like a slice? I probably ordered more than I can eat. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ziggy. Oh, let me call Alette to join us. Mmm, that's a very tasty pizza. Mm. And on time. And perfectly round. And we made it together. <laughs> oh, you want to ride the bike? Well, that's an adventure for another day. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Dr. Panda. Bye-bye.
Dr. Panda. Hello, Dr. Panda. Toto. Please tell us what will you be doing today. Dr. Panda. Let's go. Dr. Panda. Uh oh. No task too big. Come bring your friends and let's play. Fighting fires, fixing tires. He always saves the day. Out of groceries. Hey, no worries. Dr. Panda's on his way. Dr. Panda. Dr. Panda. Hello. Come on, let's go and have some fun too. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Oh, hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to paint. Oh, are you going to paint walls? No, I'm going to paint pictures with June. Yay! The paintings are for the Spring Festival. Oh, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Betty! Toto, what are you up to? Oh, I see. And you made it out of an old newspaper. What a clever idea. Ooh, you know who would love this too? June. Let's bring it along to show her. <laughs> this old stuff out of the shed. Yes, and making a great big mess. Dr. Panda and I are painting today. I need some space to store my paints in the shed afterwards. Hmm, but it looks like you're throwing perfectly good things away. What's wrong with this bucket? A bucket without a bottom isn't much use. Oh! You're not throwing away my tennis racket, are you? I oh, you have such lovely memories of that. No strings, see? Hmm. Well, I'm sure it could be useful for something. I doubt it. Anyway, make sure you get everything tidied away by the end of the day. I love it when the garden's nice and tidy. I know. You've told me lots of times. Oh... Hi, June! Dr. Panda, you've arrived at the perfect time! I've just finished clearing all this old stuff out from the shed. Great! Are we painting in the shed, then? Oh, no! We're going to paint outside, where there's lots of lovely nature to look at. It can give us an idea of what to paint. Oh, uh... I heard it was going to rain today. There's not a cloud to be seen. No clouds, no rain. So now all we have to do is decide what to paint. Hmm. Oh, Toto, did you make that? <laughs> it's beautiful. And just what we need. We can paint birds and clouds for our festival decorations. Oh, that's a clever idea. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold back, Dr. Panda. Let your paintbrush run free. Right, I'm painting a cloud. June, we better get these paintings undercover. It's going to rain. What? Oh no, our paintings. No worries, we can protect them with this. Or not. Quick, let's shelter in the shed. out all the 
the shapes. And the colors are one big mess. What are we going to do now? I need to have the decorations ready for the spring festival. Why don't we do some more painting inside? <sighs> but there's nothing to look at inside. No nature at all, only brick walls and old stuff. Mm, at least these colors look pretty all mixed together. Yes, but no one will recognize them as birds. Hey, what if we turn our paintings into something new? Just like Toto did. You mean, take these paintings and make new bird decorations out of them? Exactly! What a clever idea! Well done, Toto! <laughs> and maybe we can use some of the stuff that you're throwing away. You know, old to new. Yes! That's a great idea. Let's get to it! I told you there was a good use for that tennis racket. <laughs> These decorations look awesome, June. Yes, thanks to you. And Toto's clever ideas. Let's load them in the truck, then. Huh? Where's Toto? <laughs> <laughs> that tennis ball makes you look like a clown, Toto. <laughs> hey. Maybe we could do a circus act together. Yay! We have to get to the festival now, but that'll be an adventure for another day. See you later. Have fun. Bye, Moo. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye guys.